Hi, in this video we will be dealing with the brightness settings of images. This uh, topic will be broken down into three parts. First part being simply increasing the brightness of an image. Second part being working with both uh, increasing and decreasing the brightness of an image. And the, th the th third part will be simplifying our code using functions um, and other programming techniques um, that are bit for more advanced users. Alright, so let's get straight into it. Uh, first thing is we would obviously need to look at the image we want to be using. So I would try and navigate to um, our images that we downloaded in the previous video. Uh, for this one we can go to image set 1 and there's a nice image here called Peppers 2. So let's copy this one into our images uh, directory. Um, if you remember in the previous video we created an images folder. I'm going to paste it um, in here and work with it at, as such. All right. Once you've put it in there, uh, maybe it's just a good idea to memorize some of the information about it, like for example its size, uh, which is also 384 by 384, as well as uh, its name and uh, its file type, which in this case is a PNG. Okay. Next thing we are wanting to do is actually start programming. So as you can see, all I have is our call to our library that we'll be using. Um, and uh, all of this is just needed for Windows. So if you're running a Windows machine, I recommend you use those. Next thing, let's get straight into it. So because we are dealing with a color image, I will need to create a color image uh, variable. All right. And in this case, we will create an image. Uh, sorry, we'll call it image. Okay. Next thing, we will need to load in this image. All right. Um, now, I remember we put it under our images directory. And we saved it as peppers2.png, if I'm not mistaken. All right. Um, if you guys don't remember, you can simply just... Uh, go and make sure that it is, which in this case it is, peppers2 uh, stored under our images directory and it is of type PNG file. Great. Next thing we'll want to do is we are going to want to save this to or create a new image um, that has a different brightness settings so that we uh, can see the difference between these two images. So by doing so we're going to create an another color image, all right, uh, which we will store um, our uh, new manipulated image or changed brightness settings. Uh, for this we will call it new image. All right, And we will assign it the same size as our previous uh, image. So in order to um, have it the same pixel size uh, we can simply just define the image um, width or the x-axis from our previous image that we have loaded in. So whatever the current width of this image is, we will be uh, changing it or, or giving this new image the same dimensions. Okay, That is what we are doing uh, here quickly. And obviously get height, we will be doing the same uh, thing for the y-axis. All right. After that is done, we will need to now decide the brightness. Okay, you guys can either read this in, or um, or have it fixed. In this case, I'm going to make it fixed just so that uh, it's easier to understand and for people to get an idea of. Okay, so for this, I'm going to call. I'm going to create a variable called uh, brightness. All right, which I will assign the value of in this case, let's say 100, we will be increasing the brightness of this image by uh, 100. So it will be intensifying it, making it a little bit whiter, um, or a little bit more brighter in, in, in essence. Uh, next, we will need to create a variable called, uh, well, a variable to hold our threshold. Okay, This will be important later so that we can know 
at what point do we um, you know uh, increase the, the image to the maximum so we don't overflow in our character space all right um, using our different uh, you know red red component green component and blue component of the of the image all right so in order to calculate threshold we are simply going to say threshold in this case is going to be equal to 255 minus 100 all right and now we can immediately jump into programming um, and creating a new image. So to do this, we're simply going to run through every element inside our previous image um, or into our, inside our main image by starting off at uh, zero and working our way through um, every single pixel in that uh, in that image all right so by doing such we are now creating the x-axis which we will be also running through every pixel in the x-axis accordingly which will be on the x-axis, which is get width, all right. <sighs> okay, so now we have basically run through, so in in this for loop, we are running through every pixel inside our image, okay. Now what we require is obviously increasing the brightness of each pixel as we run through this, okay. So now because this is going to be our new image, we will create uh, an if statement to check the threshold first of uh, what element we are running. So, um, well, of, of each pixel that we are, are running through. So, we are going to check that the value at x and at y, uh, in this case we'll start off with the red component, uh, we will check if it is less than or equal to the current threshold all right okay and we will uh, open up this bracket okay so as we can see we are now checking if it is less than this value that here so for example 255 minus 100 uh, would be 155 so that is the threshold so any pixel that is be um, below 155 we will manipulate something I also just realized is we need to obviously take this variable here and instead of writing 100 here we will be using the variable brightness uh, to um, manipulate our images this will be simpler for you by simply um, uh, you know ha having that you just need to update this variable once and the rest of your program will uh, run automatically. Okay, next thing is we obviously need to change uh, uh, or our new image needs to get these values depending on what is given from our original image. So we're going to say new image at x comma y uh, the red component of our pixel is going to equal to the previous image. All right, so this will be the previous image, images uh, x and y component. All right, of, of the red element um, plus our brightness that we will be running okay so as of current that should be correct um, next we will need to do an else statement okay inside this else statement 
we will be obviously uh, just putting this new image value to the maximum uh, brightness setting as it is above the threshold okay so any number in this case that is above 155 will just automatically be given the highest intensity okay instead of plusing 100 to it all right um, as it cannot get uh, any brighter um, it does seem that I have an error expected declaration of what what seems to be undeclared um, interesting all right there we go maybe it just took a while for it to load okay next thing is we will need to be doing this to every single uh, Uh, color in the image so we will now be needing to deal with sorry blue so or green so we need to obviously change this to our green element and change every other part of it to green in this else statement okay just for simplicity sake maybe make it easier to read we will say that this is obviously red um, Next we will have this as green and this part of our image will be blue. All right. So let's change this to our blue component. Blue channel, I guess, of the image, you can call it. Okay, and once we have run through this entire image and done this process, uh, we should obviously save this image. So we are going to go over here and we're going to say new image dot save. Okay. And I will want to save it under our images directory. All right. And I will be saving it as new peppers. 2.png so as you can see in this program now when I run it it should uh, it should manipulate our current um, uh, image that we have read in all right create a new image with the same dimensions as the previous one but on every pixel we will be increasing the brightness by 100 okay so let's run this program and uh, see if we can get it to run as we are just waiting for our compiler to build and debug. Seems to have built OK. And now if we navigate to our directory, we can see here is our new pe uh, Peppers image. And as we can see, it is uh, a lot brighter than, let me do it like this. All right, you can see it's a lot brighter than the original. This being the original and uh, this being our new created one, you can see it's a lot whiter and brighter. Okay, uh, that concludes this episode. Uh, see you in the next one.